click on the cracked face, which is called your finder. Click that on the dock bar. Next, go to where it says Applications, and then go down to uh, Utilities. Open up Utilities and go to Disk Utility. From here, you want to create a new disk image. So click New Image. And we have a lot to fill in here. Where it says Save As, I want you to type your last name, underscore your first name. Where it says um, Where, I want you to put this on your desktop. So from the Where menu, select Desktop. Disk name, I'm sorry, name, where it says disk image, I want you to type your last name, underscore your first name again. The size, we're going to go down to custom, and it's going to prompt us, okay, what custom size do we want? I'm going to say one, and then the drop-down menu, terabyte. That's probably an absurd amount of space, but that's what I'm choosing. So one terabyte. On the format menu, it should say Mac OS extended journaled. So it was already selected. But then on encryption, oh, it should say none. Now here is where I wanted to be. Partitions. The partitions should say single partition, Apple partition map. Single partition, Apple partition map. And then the image format <clears throat> should be sparse disk image. Sparse disk image. And then create. And it'll do its thing, but as it's doing its thing and creating that disk image, look over here. Now look, once it got finished, it actually gave me a disk image that it looks like, okay? So I'm finished with disk utility. I can quit out of that. Now anytime we want to use iMovie, we have to be mounted on this disk image. And I'll come back to that idea in just a little bit. But I already am mounted on that disk image because I have this drive image on my desktop. When I launch iMovie, It's going to prompt me with that libraries message again. I'm going to click continue. Okay, here's my library message. If I click new, and then I click desktop, <laughs> All right, I tried to cheat. Um, click this downward pointed arrow right here. And from that downward pointed arrow, that downward pointed arrow right here now has the sidebar and it says Amanda or Crawford Amanda, it'll say your name. Go ahead and select your name on the left hand sidebar and click save. Okay, and now, huh, hallelujah, we have uh, iMovie open. Go to theater, across the top, select new movie, no theme, give it your name, and now we finally have the software open, okay? So now I can go to iPhoto library and I can drag in an image and now I, I can actually function within the software. Now, um, every time we open up the software, it's going to present us with a little bit of an obstacle, but I'm ready. I can teach that to you um, in a different screencast. Please stay tuned.